restrictive or having that resistance to the calendar. Um, one thing to remember is that it can give you freedom. Not, it's not restrictive, it's freedom. And so it, that goes along with what you just, the example you just used about your calendars got you taken care of so that you don't have to worry about those things, you know, that might be coming up for you in the back, in the back of your mind. You know, also that, that nagging feeling like I'm forgetting something. Um, so it gives you freedom in, in that sense, but also that it helps you organize your time in a way that's, that works for you in a way that is, makes you more successful and makes you more happy. Thank you, Susan. That was really, really helpful and a good reminder. I used to calendar for an elected official for 15 years. I should know how to run a ex- good calendar. It doesn't quite translate into my life. So this was a real good reminder on how to do that. I- Actually, a good example of putting sales time in your calendar. Um, that could be something that when the time comes, you, something else happens that's more and more, that's more uh, to your liking uh, to do at that time instead of picking up the phone or reaching out to people. I think that that's one of those things that, that's a good example of when that time comes for you to do something um, and you're, um, you can be unconscious around this, like, you know, oh, I have to do this little thing over here first. Um, it seems more important than, and it's really just because you're avoiding something. So this is actually, you know, it's good for, for helping you um, root out those things that, you know, are in your way of um, a more successful business. So not only does it help you organize your time so that you're making time for that, but also helps you be more, um, helps you grow and be more aware of the, the places that you get stuck. It's great, Susan. I, um, my calendar is my brain. So you gave me some great ideas and tips that I can put to use right away. <laughs> and I too like the do not forget list. I guess be kind to yourself around those things that come up that again are um, obstacles for you, you know, things that derail you. I, I, I'm working a regular job, and I have the things to deal with, with still with my husband, but a good uh, one of my oldest friends and I are putting together a thing where um, we put the advocacy whole idea together, and we're just in the brainstorming spot right now. And so this will help keep me moving on the action steps. You start out the day with the commitment to yourself that you're going to that this is important to you and that you're going to stay conscious around it. It doesn't mean perfection. It just means making decisions that are more in alignment with where it is that you want to go.